Good morning. So right now I'm sitting in my car and I have started, right now I am chaining the uh, starting chain. I have no idea how long I need to make this considering it's going to be winding and I am not sure how to create that yet. Like I know that there's the like small curves one and I guess I assume that I would have to just keep doing that curve but I need to look up some handy dandy YouTube videos to see how to remind myself how to do that in the first place. So I'm kind of just going to wing it. That's the plan right now. I'm winging it. I don't think it needs to be perfect. It's going to be wavy. It's going to be great. And I'm just going to figure out. So right now I'm using Red Heart yarn. It's not my favorite yarn, but it's part of the huge hoard of yarn that I got for free. I got four cases of yarn for free. And yarn is expensive. So... Not all of it is this scratchy yarn, so I don't mind. And it's gonna be a blanket um, for the that I'm gonna gift to the costume shop I work at. So not, I don't think it's that big of a deal, you know. It's gonna be used when it gets chilly in the costume shop, and so and I don't think anyone is gonna be like, ah, this sucks. Especially since this is gonna be like one, like a few strips of it. It's not gonna be the entire blanket and the rest of the yarn I'm gonna be using is pretty soft so I'm not worried. But the yarn I'm using matches the shirt I have it's the gremlin picture book the gremlin bride. <laughs> okay guys I've so much figured out how to create this like we coming down here. So what I did is when I got to this point of how I decide how long I wanted my blanket to be. Um, I crocheted five together. So I made a shell and I crocheted five connected together, five uh, double crochets. Okay, so you guys, as you guys know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally making it up as I go. I haven't been able to find any free um, patterns for this. And I actually don't mind the exploration. And I think I'm actually going to do a much more detailed video about making this. Because I think I want to make one for myself back at home. And something larger. And I think you guys will enjoy being able to make it along with me too. So this is something I've discovered so far, and this is just to keep note for myself. Um, so here in the purple, I did five double crochets into the stitch. And then on top here, I found the center and I did five again. And it worked out fine for what it needed to be, but it did curve in a little bit. So now that I'm in a larger spot, what I'm doing is I made three, um, double crochets into each of the five and I think next time what I should do is for the blue part I should make two single crochets into each five and I think that's how I'm going to keep going so when I get up to here I'm going to do um I think I'm going to do I don't know yet I don't know yet because it could change maybe four double crochets into each three I don't know but you know I have to keep like spreading out so it's wide enough we'll see when we get to that point but discovery in terms of making it round I'll show you what I do for the curve that's not around but for the curve that's inside inside the curve as opposed to outside the curve Okay, this is where we're at. As you can see, 
I did not count how much I took up and down so it's special but I'm not gonna change that and I'm now going to fill in this with white and kind of put it all around it's not a perfect blanket it's not even but it does have at least it increases I guess at each end I don't know guys this is the first time this is just a trial and error I know what I would do different and we'll talk about it when we get to the end of all of this all the things I will do different um yeah let's get to it okay so quick review on the blanket I haven't sewn in my ends yet and I haven't decided whether I want to make a fringe out of this yet so I'm leaving it but um, yeah this is how the blanket came out it's really vibrant even though I used pastels which I think is pretty cool um, I think the white actually brings out the vibrance of the colors a lot more too because this is this is like pure white well, yeah, so things I love. Um, I rate this project out of 8 out of 10. And it's only because I was not following a pattern. I was kind of guesstimating how to make this. And, well, <laughs> as you can see, it's not exactly even. But this is the better end. This side, actually, you see, it's way longer. Um, yeah, I kind of got a little excited, I guess, on the length, but I didn't count stitches to be fair. So, I think for the next one that I'm gonna make, because this was just a tester and a little small like blanket to uh donate to my costume shop. And I actually think the more and more I look at it, I think I am actually going to tie tassels here. I think it'll just be so cute. I really enjoy this things I would do next time I would make the rows in the colors wider so that it's more distinct and you could kind of see it better which means that I would have to make my curves beforehand much wider in addition to that I think I need to work on how I curve around I think I have an idea of how I'm gonna do it and in my next video where I actually do a full-on like blanket and I think I'm gonna do a queen size blanket I will show you I will give have thorough instructions on how to make this kind of blanket because I couldn't find that anywhere which it's really what really pushed me to do this one but I'm really excited about it I really actually enjoyed doing this project and it took me a week and I feel like it probably would have taken me about two to three days if I wasn't working and had children um, it was a really quick project. Frankly, it could have probably been done in a day with, if I, like, I kept working on stuff. But let's say in an eight hour week, I probably could have finished this in, in no more than three days. Like, I don't think, probably even less. It was a really fun project. And for this size, which you can see the size of it, it could be like for a little like uh, lap blanket. That's kind of the size of it, or even good for a toddler or like a young, younger child. It's pretty much that size kind of blanket, but I think for the next one I'm going to do, it's going to be much bigger. So stay tuned for that, and I probably would also have like calculations for depending on what size and kind of explain how I work out the sizing and the amount of chains, etc. And how, depending on how big you want the blanket. Um, but yeah, I would rate this 8 out of 10. I think I did really well. And, oh, because it's so vibrant. I think I did really well. Um, I'm really proud of this blanket. I'm really proud of myself for figuring out how to make it. And I hope you guys can enjoy it too. <laughs>